the Ascot handicap stakes is next. This is a 0 to 80, two and a half mile handicap. And we've only got five runners or so in this. Devon Twinkles at the top for Thomas Rogers. Win final Ollie for David Hooley. Lucky Rebecca for Martin Lidham. Tikiti Namika for Alex Cherry. Chapter Blend, Ryan Costello, and Stella Brilliant Obi Wan. Lucky Rebecca, winner last time out and the winner of this race last season. Trying to win it for two years on the trot. I'm not sure how many horses have ever won a Royal Ascot race two years on the trot, but maybe Lucky Rebecca can do it. Although a win last week may have just pushed up the handicap just that little bit too much and she won't be able to. Why am I interested? Because she's mine, that's why. And it would be nice if we could have a dual Royal Ascot one out. Because we're not really doing a lot of good anywhere else. Anyway, Chat and Bled is in the lead. Um, leads by about three. To Wind Fail Ollie in second. Last year at this meeting, I had a fellow commentator called Nick Driver who was commentating, and he had a horse in this, and he was totally convinced that his horse was going to win this race, and he, was, he had to commentate on it, and he was most disgruntled. He was talking to me before and after the race, telling me how he was, and he couldn't understand how Miles had beaten him. I couldn't understand it either, to be honest, um, but it did, and. Um, there you go. So Nick's not commentating this season. Maybe we'll be back one day in the future. Uh, chapter Blend is in the lead. I'm sure it wasn't the fact that Mark Hawes beat him at Royal Ascot that stopped him commentating because he did stay till the end of the season. And he had one or two races where he got his own back on me. It uh, was a part of our Royal Ascot preview shows last season. Um, which will, will appear be the last of those. And we're not going to be doing them anymore. And Chapter Blend is in the lead. And lucky Rebecca second and Winfield Ollie third. Evan Twinkle is back in fourth and then Stella Brilliant and Tiki Tinamika is the back marker. And a long old way to go and not a lot to say really. With just six runners. And was in real wrong Alaska. This would have not 18 or 20 runners in and half of them would be hurdlers and chases and all sorts of stuff and We'd probably be expecting Willie Mullins to win it, but we did have a trainer called Willie Mullins turn up in the um, jumping section. But he seems to have disappeared in the last couple of weeks. So. Anyway. I mean, I should have got Doug to do this one, shouldn't I, really? I made a definite mistake when I divvied out the races this week, and um, I ended up with more than I was supposed to as well, because Ryan Costello was supposed to be doing some, but now I've ended up doing them. Anyway, Chapter Blends in the lead. Lucky Rebecca's second. Devon Twinkle's third. Windfall Ollie is fourth. And then Stella Brilliant. And Tikita Namika, who is one of my favourite horses in the league because it just is easy to commentate on Tikita Namika. It just comes out really good. I'm sure most people don't realise they're doing it when they name their horses. That It's the way that the words flow and make it easier for a commentator. Tikita Namika is really good. Um, most of these in this race are okay actually look at Rebecca Stella Brilliant Devon Twinkle and Fine Ollie they're all okay sometimes words that look okay when you try and say them quickly they just don't flow I can't think of any off the top of my head now but anyway we had a horse a few years ago called Mutti Fucking Naka Hermini or something and that was easy to say because once you figured out what it was you could just say it it's the ones where they don't flow for the problem and the people that try and put rude words in as well. Mr. Clutterbuck, you are the crime. You are the criminal this year. It was Derek Hinton a few years ago with his badly named horse. But you're the one that's done it this season. You should know better, Mr. President. Anyway. It's Charlton blending. I told him off last week. I didn't realise him. I was telling off. I was moaning about somebody doing the race running. And he went. he sent me a text. He went, oh, it was me. I've got problems with my computer. Uh, I'm not picking on you, Grey Honest. But you really shouldn't have called those horses those things you've called them. It's supposed to be family viewing this. Anyway, chapter blends in the lead. We've got two furlongs left to go. Still a brilliant second. Lucky Rebecca trying to come through for a second win in this race. It's looking like she hasn't quite got it in her this year, and it looks like Stella Brilliant's going to take it. And. Still a brilliant race into the final furlong, and I can't begrudge Sirius this win because last week he got disqualified from a race for it, interfering with his own horse, and I ended up being given the race. So 
I'll give you this one, Sirius. You can have this one on me, and it's a win. <laughs> Stella Brilliant. This is the one I wanted to win, but never mind. Stella Brilliant, the winner for Obi Wan Sirius Chill. And a Royal Ascot winner, I'm sure, is far better than that tatty little race that you lost last week. You can put your top hat on and you can go and meet the Queen. Stella Brilliant, the winner for Obi Wan Sirius Chill. Tikiti Namika for Alex Cherry, second. Lucky Rebecca for a disgraced commentator, third. And Chapter Blend for Ryan Costello, fourth. With Devon Twinkle, Thomas Rogers in fifth.